You are from now on a commie, and you are a fucking commie. Don't like that. Give me a notice and fuck off. Initiating commie sheep protocols. It's usually zombie sheep, but today it's just specifically for the Chinese Communist Party. Particular parasites of pissing me off. Uh, yeah, so uh, don't expect anything too interesting. It's just going to be a wee rant. A wee rant about the Communist Dirty Tricks campaign. So let's have a look. It's really starting to dawn on me just how dire the situation is for the Communist Party of China. When the imaginary huge might and wealth and luxury of Beijing, Shanghai and all those other places which are basically don't exist, it's like China, this huge country, is basically just Shanghai, Beijing, Hong Kong. That's it. The rest of the country is fields. <laughs> it's in nothing in them, fields. So, uh, yeah. Back to my rant about how crap the Communist Party are. I've just realised the worst they've done to me. I mean, it is, it's annoying. Don't get me wrong, it's cost me hundreds of pounds. Only hundreds, though. That's about as much as it's ever going to cost me. All they can do is reduce my like counters and reduce my views on my stats and hide my videos for a few weeks at a time, or maybe a month. Ooh, they can hide it for a whole month if they can afford it, if they can strain themselves of the resources of the PLA and their government, the CCP, if they can pull together and they can really make an effort, they can take a video down for a month and lower my views by 400 views a day. <laughs> That's fucking so pathetic. So now it's really dawned on me, this is the real reason why China is in a complete terrifying fucking unrecoverable mess. Um, why they've got no money left, why they have to print banknotes every single day just to go and buy their shopping and then buy off politicians. And this is probably why politicians are so easily bought off by China, because they're probably thinking, yeah, they'll be dead soon anyway. <laughs> I mean, look at them. Seriously. Can you imagine if the American, if the, the might of the American military machine, if they were coming after me? I'd be a pile of fucking ash. I'd be dead. But the Chinese military machine coming after me? <gasps> My channel's slightly impaired. <laughs> That's literally all that they could do. So, uh, yeah, okay. You know, I should have I should have done a different intro. I forgot to do the intro because I'm still thinking in my head. How do I do a good intro knowing that it's only these communist fucking assholes that are going to be watching me at the moment? While being able to put a proper one in later when I get my Google Ads back. So, yeah, I should have started this. Good morning and welcome back, arsehole, arsehole and arseholes of the arsehole communist, arsehole Chinese communist arsehole party of arseholes. Welcome back. That would have done the job. But you know, I feel sorry for them. I should know. I'll take that back. I shouldn't say, I shouldn't call them seven times assholes. I mean, communist. It's kind of redundant saying communist asshole. You don't need both words. It's like saying um, spoon spoon. Just say it once. It's the same thing, you know? Communist asshole. Just pick one. You don't need to say both. Asshole. Communist. We'll just go with whatever. Let's do it alphabetically. Asshole. When I say asshole, I mean communist. When I say communist, I mean communist, and they both mean asshole. So, in conclusion, ladies, gents, and Pikachus who are watching this for fun and entertainment of laughing at the pathetic spineless wimps of the commie party of, uh, what's it called again? Oh yeah, China, you know, that country that's fucked itself over for decades and probably multitudes of centuries to come. The conclusion is this. Don't fear the Chinese Communist Party, because the worst they can do is slightly fucking irritate you and take away some time and resources that you have paid for. That's it. They can waste your time and your money. That's all they're fucking capable of at the moment. Uh, which is probably why they're dying to come here and go to America, flee their own shitty little country, because um, they've completely destroyed it in every possible way, including they can't regenerate their population because of the one child thing that they had. I just can't... Words fail me. How can a country full of billions of people generate a leader with a negative IQ? It's like you might as well have got a radish and made the radish your president. President Radish Jinping would have done better than the real thing. Because there's no way a radish can make a bad decision. You see? I mean, they can't make a good decision, but no decisions are better than bad decisions. And it seems to me, I mean, I'm just a guy. Who, who they're spending all these resources on silencing, so... I'm really talking to you again, communist, arsehole, arsehole, communist, communists. Or, as we're gonna call you now, 
assholes. It seems to me there aren't any more bad decisions for you to make and you know this and you're basically rolling towards the exit in last place so in order that you feel special you're shooting down the people in front of you with these weak little bullets that you have got left and those bullets consist of lowering views and likes and using dislikes oh that's it you're trying to influence the content that I put out when I say if I put out some bullshit content saying communism's great you'd pump the likes on that with all your fake accounts and you wouldn't go near the dislike and I'm sure my promo account would suddenly be magically free of these triple charges but as soon as I tell the truth and say the Communist Party of China have absolutely arse fucked their own chance of survival in future along with their country, land, sea, air, population, water table, economy, culturally, they've literally, you've like 10 times arse fucked yourself, assholes. Right, it makes sense that you would Anyway, so that's the conclusion, ladies, gents, Pikachus, and commie assholes who are watching this now. The rest of you will be watching this next year when the Google Ads thing is up and I've got money to pump back into it again. Um, oh, yeah! I, I, you know what? I get so many scam emails now. The timing of it is what gives it away. Asshole commies, learn a lesson from this. When I put a video up and then I get half an hour later some really dodgy emails claiming to be from my uh, landlord, my bank, you know, all the people that I use. I can see, even though you've used the real branding and you've used the real bank logo, you've even used the real names of the real people in some cases, your fucking grammar and spelling is atrocious. Not even a five-year-old would make those mistakes. So that leads me to believe you have been learning from a five-year-old, but not one that speaks my language. Either that or you're using a really hammy Chinese clone of an AI that just doesn't know how to write or read or spell things correctly. Uh, so that's it. Now that I've completely shat all over your Communist Party uh, hijinks, I'm going to go back to my day. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you next time. Bye now. Perhaps your country would be doing better if you got off your little skinny backsides and actually did some work rather than just watching YouTube all day. Presumably that's what you're doing. CCP, uh, assholes. <laughs> so anyway, that's it for now. Bye. You know what you can do? Write your f***ing notice and f*** right off.